All right, man, so everybody loves to punch the throttle and hear the sound of the engine, especially those big V8 pipes when you go through a tunnel. Let's see what this thing does in the tunnel, ready? Well, no sound, but it's a pretty good torque. Um, but why is it all about the Mustang Mach-E GT? Well, we had a little something up our sleeve years ago. We first came out with the Mustang Mach-E, and we've won unbelievable response and accolades. But now we have a better and more elevated experience, which is the Mustang Mach-E GT in an addition, the performance edition. So why? Why did we decide that we needed to elevate it? Well, we have some fundamentals at Ford, and it really came down to we wanted to deliver on performance. So you're gonna find a zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Torque is 634 foot-pounds of torque. Well, what are you gonna do with that, right? How responsive is it? Then we packed it full of tech. When I talk tech, I'm talking about Ford Blue Cruise, our hands-free driving technology, and that's gonna be on the cars for you today as you drive them. So now you have tech, and what about charging? Where, what is our charging solution? How effortless and easy is it? So we want you to experience that. You might not charge yourself today, but you're gonna learn about how we've really made it integrated. Right? The fun to drive is so imperative as a function of it being a Mustang. So therefore, when you're taking the vehicles out today, we really want you to get to the level of what you think fun to drive is and tell us what you interpret fun to drive as. So let's talk a little bit of what we've been able to do over the last, well, really since production started. We're going to deliver on over 50,000 units produced this year. They'll be delivered to customers both in North America, including Canada, and then Europe. But with that, there is such pent-up demand that we're working on constraints to break that down so we can even produce more in the future ahead. Uh, China is also eminent. There'll be a Mustang Mach-E coming out very shortly in China as well. So this is truly a global product. Um, in regards to what we're seeing now from order trends on the Mustang Mach-E GT and GT Performance Edition is we have an over-index of customer orders wanting the Performance Edition. They're going to say, well, why? Well, you tell us why when you drive it. But fundamentally, it's because it's the epitome. It's the cat's meow. It's got content on there that really puts the power down. And it's really that experience that's going to bring forward the fun to drive aspect of what we believe is a GT. So now let's talk about what GT is. GT is a term used in, to describe a sports car. Grand Touring is basically where it came from. It's an Italian word. But really it's about performance and the ability to go on a journey, to go a distance, to go on that ride and enjoy the ride, and also being very well appointed. Well, Ford started using the word or the GT designation back in 1965 with our Mustangs. And of course, this is very legendary when we think about what Mustang stands for. And the Mustang Mach-E GT, GT Performance Edition is going to follow in those same footsteps. It's DNA that we're committed to. We don't take it very lightly to put a GT badge on anything, if it's a Mustang or a Mach-E for that matter. So we really want you to know that from a GT standard, from a Ford expectation to deliver more for a really performance, a responsiveness, um, fun to drive, this delivers on that promise. I'm Heather Fadulo. I am the Vehicle Dynamics Supervisor for Mustang Mach-E. I have been on Mach-E since the start and I love this product. I actually recognize some of you guys, so you've heard me talk about this before. I will try to uh, contain my enthusiasm somewhat because I can sound kind of silly sometimes. But I do love this product. I daily drive a Mach-E every day. Um, now moving into the GT, it's been even more exciting to be able to have the opportunity to work on this. These products are so important for Ford for one, uh, solidifying Mustang's future in the EV world, and then two, for supporting Ford's commitment to be carbon neutral by 2050. So it's not often in someone's career they have the opportunity to work on such iconic products, and I'm very, very honored to be part of the team here. I'm very excited to be telling you about it. Um, there's two other products I wanted to mention quickly that have also played a part in Ford's EV future. Um, you may have heard of the Mustang Mach-E, um, 1400 or the Cobra Jet 1400. These products are electric vehicles that have been tested in some of the most extreme EV environments and those are the types of things that Ford are doing to continue to grow our understanding of batteries and how we can make great performance vehicles in the electric world. So what we're really here to talk about though is the GT, so um, we'll move on to that. Um, as you would expect in the development of a GT, uh, we have certain criteria that we need to meet, of course. So we started development of this in the simulator. I personally have been in the simulator um, many, many times. My team and I have spent hours um, and days and weeks in there making sure that we could understand the hardware that was needed and the development time that would be needed to create something worthy of being a GT. 
So from the simulator, we then of course moved to you know, the real world to driving um, and refining this vehicle on road. And I'm so excited for you guys to get in it today because I think you'll really see how hard the team has worked to bring this together and to deliver that fun to drive experience. In particular, you'll probably start to wonder, okay, what, what's the big deal? What are we talking about here? Why, why, what makes the GT? So all of those things that we did in the simulator and in the real world has boiled down to lots of things, but I'll just, the car's 10 millimeters lower um, than the standard Mach-E. So one, it gives it even more of an aggressive stance, which is wonderful. Uh, but two, selfishly, from a vehicle dynamic standpoint, it lowers the center of gravity even further. So that really enables us to deliver uh, even a more improved steering and handling over the standard Mach-E. There's also quite a few um, beautification aspects to the car. So we've got uh, a unique grille. We've got the lit pony in the front, of course. Um, we've got a unique fascia with air curtains. Um, interior, we've got um, contrast stitching and embroidery. And we've got sport seats that are really going to provide more lateral support in the GT offering. So it was something we felt was very important. It's what we do, what you would expect from a GT. Um, something else that you would also expect as we move into performance vehicles would be improving the wheels and tires, which we've done. The GT has an aluminum wheel with aero covers. It's one inch wider than the base um, tire offering on the standard Mach-E. It's also a 20 inch wheel. Um, on the GT version, it comes with a 245 all season tire. So that is a big improvement over the standard Mach-E. Um, but of course, we had to leave something for the GT Performance Edition. So moving on to the GT Performance Edition, um, it also gets its own beautiful wheel. It gets uh, Ford Performance seats, so even more lateral support. Um, and we've uh, equipped that with a summer tire that we co-developed with Pirelli to improve both the lateral and the longitudinal grip. So your uh, acceleration and your handling cornering is improved from that tire. So um, overall, between the GT, the GT Performance Edition, we've done a lot of work to figure out what that what that need was to be really committed to a GT message and we've translated that into a lot of hardware in the car and there's a lot more things here um, that I will uh, let you guys discover on your own. One other thing I want to talk about though on the GT Performance Edition is Magneride. Um, that's something that we often offer in our Performance Mustangs and really excited to be able to have that on the GT Performance Edition package. If you guys aren't familiar with what Magneride is, it is essentially a magnetically charged fluid that can instantaneously change damping based on wheel and inputs. So you can essentially optimize the steering and handling performance of the car much better than you can with a, just a standard shock system. So um, what we've done then is we've tuned that Magna Ride to work in each of our drive modes differently so that we can have customers that will choose kind of their initial perception of how they want the car to respond and then from there the Magna Ride does the rest of the hard work. Um, talking about modes, you may have heard of Mustangs having drive modes. That's something that we also do. It's something that GTs do. It's something that we did for um, Mustang mach -E and then also for the Performance Editions. But with this we went one step further and we've created something called Unbridled Extend. Um, and you'll hear more about that as you're, um, as you're in the cars and, and going through some of the literature. What Unbridled Extend is intended to do is to provide a enthusiast the opportunity to drive in a spirited way consistently for a couple laps of like an autocross or something. So in that mode, it's actively managing the um, battery energy to be able to provide nice consistent lap times for a couple laps. Other bonus, because we're all engineers and we love to optimize things, we wanna give the best thing we can to the customers because we created this mode, it also then allowed us to change the all-wheel drive, the uh, stability control, and the traction control for optimized driving on a course type of event. So I'm um, very excited about you guys being able to experience that on the autocross tomorrow. I think with that, I've probably hit most of the things. I'm sure I've forgotten a couple of things, and I will be around. Um, I love to talk about this product. I'm super excited to answer any questions that you guys have, and definitely for you guys to get in it. We're really excited to have developed something that we feel is so fun to drive and really um, merits the GT name.